what's up guys and welcome back to earth zero i'm your host black nick thank you so much for tuning in uh, if you're new to the channel please hit that like and subscribe button please excuse the noises <laughs> they i am at work and there are people working it's a monday <laughs> monday afternoon people are cutting grass people are driving and unfortunately my walls are not soundproof so excuse all of that but I just wanted to quickly make a video for this Aquaman uh, 2 movie. A teaser was just released recently. And um, I thought it looked cool. I'm actually really keen and I'm liking the outfits a lot, you know, so far. But I'm going to do a better reaction to the actual main video. But the comments that are going around are just annoying me, you know. And this is why I'm just being, I'm actually kind of fed up being a DC fan. I really just don't want to support uh, Warner Bros because of the stuff they've done. But I also really don't want to support them because of the fans, you know. There are fans here and there that really like it. Like, that, they'll, they'll, they'll fight you for calling Batman vs. Superman a bad movie. And, and, and I'm, I'm fine with those fans. Like, I'm, I'm fine with those kind of people that really like DC to the point where they can't defend it. It's nice that... There are people that defend DC no matter what it is or what it's going through and what, what, what. So it's nice to have those kind of people for, like, support. I mean, I do admit when something is terrible or something when is not worth it or not worth the watch or wasted my time. And I can admit to you that Warner Bros. has made their mistakes. But the fan base has now started to jump onto this hate wagon where now DC is kind of now just a punching bag. In terms of things, Marvel is struggling, but it's it hasn't been terrible. They have at least made their history and have sorted out everything. It's just now with recent stuff, they're also going down. And it's also because of the superhero fatigue stuff. But like with the comment that I'm putting onto the screen right now, it's just like people are just jumping onto the hate wagon. Like I do not see how this Aquaman teaser trailer has bad CGI or has anything to do with the Flash in fact. And I feel like people are just taking that and car and, and using that as, like, a, you know, a way to just make things more negative for, like, this DC and Warner Bros. and what they're going through. And comments like this just makes me feel like people are just hopping onto that hate wagon for the sake of it. They're sour. They're not happy with DC or how it's going. They haven't been impressed with DC. It could be even a Marvel fanboy or whatever. But at the end of the day, I do not see how the CGI in Aquaman 2 teaser is anywhere as terrible as the Flash stuff, you know. The Flash stuff was ter First of all, no one really saw the bad CGI for Flash and thought it would be fixed. And it just never landed up being fixed, you know. And that's why it was terrible. But I feel like this director will actually sort out the Aquaman, like, CGI. And it's... Like I said, the trailer has no terrible CGI in my opinion. I think it's decent and it'll probably be worked up, I mean, worked upon. And, if, and even if it still stays like the trailer, it's not anywhere near what the Flash was. Like, the Flash looked like PlayStation 2, basically. So that I, I, I can 100% admit. But this, what this man is saying right now, I just feel like it's just these negative fans now and they just sour about everything that's happening and they're jumping onto the hate wagon, and I cannot take comments like that seriously. And if I had to take them seriously, I would have to just say that I'm actually just tired of, like, DC in a, like as a whole. My favorite hero comes from DC, which is Batman. And um, it's just always so irritating to be in this fan base, because everywhere you go, you're just hearing someone complain about something, whether it be Batman whether it be Superman, whether whether it be anything, dude. With the Robert Patterson stuff, that people just didn't like it because of Robert Patterson himself, you know. Guy hasn't done anything bad in social media. They just don't like what he looks like, dude. Just simply that, and then they call the movie terrible. You know what I'm saying? And there's just like all this hate and garbage and like really, really, really strong criticism that comes to DC in the history that it's been in from the DCEU, I feel like DC has gotten quite hectic criticism compared to, like, Marvel movies, and when I speak to someone Marvel, and, like, I say, like, that movie's trash, or whatever, and it's a Marvel fan, they're like, no, I, I, I really liked it, and what, 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 you know, and, um, 
they'll end up, you know, like defending the movie and stuff, uh, even though it was like terrible, even though the CGI was terrible and everything. And at the end of the day, what their conclusion to me is like, it's a comic book film, you know, like it's, you don't need to take it that seriously, you know, and whatever. And I feel like that's what ha has happened with Marvel through these stages. Like even their worst projects, a lot of people still like it. And would never admit that it's like terrible or has bad CGI or bad storyline or whatever. Which is what I don't do at all. Like I've enjoyed all the Marvel stuff. But if I had to sit there and actually put that critical mindset that fans have been doing to DC onto Marvel. I would have a freaking whole years of content of just pointing out everything that's bad and uh, that they haven't kept right and story wise and cgi and all of this stuff like if i had to be very strict with them i could go back and probably find all of those problems but no because i decided to choose to just accept what they want and it's crazy because with marvel movies you never hear fans saying we want this we want this and then marvel does it no it's like we want this one and something else unexpected happens and people just enjoy it, you know. But with DC, it's like, we want this, we want this. Something else I expected happened. No, this is trash. So you can see already the differences between DC and them. And uh, yes, I know it's because of the mistakes that, like, WB has done and what they've been doing. But honestly, they like, there's a difference between, like, you know, when something's actually terrible and you can hate on it and fight for whatever, like, Maybe people not wanting to support Ezra for the Flash. That all makes sense to me, you know, that kind of stuff, you know. But this whole Blue Beetle and everyone trying to trash on that movie and all of that stuff without even having seen it. And now you've been begging for the Aquaman 2 trailer, then you're making comments like this, you know. I just feel like they're using DC as a punk punching bag or whatever. And, you know, this universe, I mean, DC is not going to ever accomplish anything big. I don't think they're going to ever have a hit in the lifespan that I'm in if the fans carry on like this, <laughs> unfortunately. They also need to switch up on their side and actually bring out quality and listen to fans. So I agree on both spectrums. It has been wrong and stuff. But there's just been some things like, for example, the Batman movie. I really like that movie, but people still have stuff to say about that movie. It's woke. It's this. It's that. It's and and it's just you know it's just irritating, dude. It's just like, from what I'm hearing, they will be no, nothing or nothing good enough for the DC fans. Whether it even was like blatantly good, like if, even if they were given what they were wanting, it was really good. I feel like there's just gonna be someone out there. That will be here to trash and hate on it. And DC is just going to go in a loop like this for the rest of our lives, dude. And I don't even think I'll ever, you know, be alive to see the day when everyone's like actually supporting DC, you know. So that's sad and negative from the fans on my end. Um, WB, also you need to start sorting out your stuff. But I am actually excited for Aquaman 2. I liked Aquaman 1. And I'm looking forward for number two. But I just had to say this about just a teaser. Just a teaser and there's already hate comments coming out from fans, dude. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.